Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Eve and today I'm going to tell you about a cryptocurrency that I think it does not receive as much attention as it deserves. In the past couple of weeks, we have seen a lot of cryptocurrencies go up in price. Now, these cryptocurrencies have been predominantly meme coins. But you can also notice that of late, these meme coins have been coming down just as hard. So, what the hell is going on? Now, as described in my other video, you have to understand that money flows from Bitcoin to large cap cryptocurrencies to small caps and finally to micro cap cryptos. Now, this time, and which is why I always say that there is no promises in crypto. Like, you cannot say that something is sure to happen because it may as well happen the other way. This time around, we saw a lot of meme coins go up in price and it wasn't their time. Like, no one ever thought that that would happen. But Shiba Inu went up in price and uh, every other meme coin followed. So, this is Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. And one thing that you can also use in this uh, CoinGecko.com is that when the coins are undervalued, CoinGecko shows you that it is time to buy. When they are overvalued, well, they don't present anything. But you can always use this buy signal here to know if the coin is undervalued or overvalued. In the past 24 hours, we saw that Shiba Inu has gone up by 15%. It is not to say that Shiba Inu will keep going up. Nothing can prove that it will keep going up or drastically drop down. But what you have to understand is these meme coins are a way for investors to make money and invest in their utility coins. So most people investing in meme coins always take the profits to invest in utility coins. For example, if you invest say a thousand dollars in Shiba Inu and you make a hundred thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars, you most people will just move it to the bank. Most people will move some of this money to the bank and uh, a higher amount of it or a higher percentage of it will move to higher to utility coins like maybe say Bitcoin or Ethereum or other smart contract cryptocurrencies. So each time you hear that many people made a lot of money in meme coins, you should be somewhat scared because there will be a drastic drop in price from the same meme coins that many people made a lot of money from. Anyway, so today let's look at uh, Bitcoin, then we look at the cryptocurrency that I think is grossly undervalued. So here is Bitcoin and we can see that Bitcoin has been consolidating ever since it dropped down from its previous all-time high and that was at $66,000. So now what we can see here is that Bitcoin first had a head and shoulders pattern right here, right here. Let me take this out so that we fully understand this. All right, Bitcoin had a head and shoulders pattern right here in the four hourly time chart. So this were the shoulders and this is the head. So normally we were supposed to hit around, uh, this was supposed to be like, if we take it from here to here, This will be around $52,000 Bitcoin, but we did not see that. Bitcoin instead formed another head and shoulders pattern right here. In case you cannot see it, this will be another head and shoulders pattern, an inverse head and shoulders pattern right here. So this inverse head and shoulders pattern indicates that Bitcoin should rise above. So this from here to here is the same distance from here to here. So this indicates that Bitcoin should hit $68,000. Now, you can notice that head and shoulders patterns are somewhat very tricky. And I did say this in my other tutorial video. Head and shoulders patterns are very tricky because here we had a head and shoulders pattern and some people would have been shorting Bitcoin, hoping that Bitcoin will reach around say $56,000, but it did not. It formed another head and shoulders pattern right here. So which means head and shoulders patterns can be very confusing. And so generally Bitcoin has just been consolidating here in the four hourly time chart. So now what we can hope for is that from here, if we look at this as some sort of triangle, like a descending triangle, so this will be like this. So this indicates that Bitcoin could go up from here 
or can also go down so let's say it goes up from here then we can hit say $65,000 for the Bitcoin price and keep in mind this can also go down so depending on what candle from the close of Bitcoin's price then you can know where Bitcoin will go so if it goes down here we are bound to go to say $56,000 that will still be the same um, target that it would have reached if it just left from this head, previous head and shoulders pattern and it came down here. So this is in the four hourly time chart. We have a possibility of going down to $56,000 or we could go up to $65,000. But in any case, this can be seen as a consolidation this is just a consolidation there is no drastic movement in price this is just a normal consolidation for for Bitcoin this is just a consolidation so this will allow for every other coin for large cap coins to go up in price so the coin I'll be talking about today will be chain link and so before we do that let us look at Bitcoin this was in the four hourly time chart but if you zoom out here to the daily time chart of Bitcoin you see something very interesting and it's the same thing that uh, Chainlink has this this is the same thing that Chainlink has and uh, let me zoom out here voila so if you look at this graph here you will see something very interesting and well some people may not see it if you have not been like uh, up, keeping up to date on this channel you will not see it but if you have then congratulations because you saw it so if you look at here you will notice that this looks like uh, where is this okay so you will notice that this looks like this you should know something that looks like this so this looks like a cup yes so this looks like a cup so they call this a cup and handle pattern so this is a cup and handle pattern and to easily understand where the price will be headed you have to understand that in each pattern in cryptocurrency that is open towards the upside the price should move up if the pattern is open towards the downside the price should move down what do I mean by that so this is a cup yeah so here we could say that the, this could be like the opening of the cup yeah this could be like the opening of the cup and this could be like the opening of the handle or something so let's just look at it that way anyway so in this cup and handle pattern what you can see is that we have the price here and this is the resistance here this is the resistance here so we can draw our line like this we can draw our line from there and then we take from the lowest part from the lowest point of this so let's say that's the line okay so we have been seeing how the cup and handle pattern has been going up if you take from here from below here and you put on this line here this should tell you how far the price will go up so that will be seventy six thousand dollar bitcoin so this is say our estimated price for bitcoin in the long run so it's here all right so we take the handle so in the long in the short run so in the midterm or something we know that the price will hit here so that's it so here you see that the price actually if you had a trade if you were trading Bitcoin you will see exactly where the price will end around here all right so that's it this candle did not really close above here and this one took the price back down anyway and that's how the market moves that's okay now so this uh, handle pattern tells you how far the price will go in the short term 
the cup tells you how far the price will go in the long term okay so that's how you measure the prices so we know now that bitcoin eventually will go to seventy six thousand dollars now keep in mind this is not a short this is not completely as it's not a hundred percent sure like if you wake up tomorrow and they say that they are banning stable coins all of this will be invalidated this will not work because everyone will be fighting to convert their crypto into fiat and uh, there will be no one stuck in the market to just make sure that this comes into fruition so always keep in mind that technical analysis have to coincide with fundamental analysis which is why most of us in crypto do a lot of research so that's it that's it for bitcoin and uh, we know that as it consolidates here we will see good movement in altcoin prices so this is chainlink i have been talking about this crypto for the longest time ever on this channel and on my tiktok page if you look here you will see that we have the same cup and handle pattern printed out here now Chainlink's price is $31 and I believe it should go a bit lower to about $30 or yeah to about $30 it has a lot of support at $27 but I think Chainlink will do a great job so if you look here you will also see the same cup and handle pattern right here so this is the same cup and handle pattern and people should not just be missing out on this because I've been talking about Chainlink for the longest time ever. I've been singing the Chainlink song. I talked about our weave when our weave was still at $30. Our weave went to $80. That's more than a 2x. And well, it all depends on you if you want to be taking action. So we see that uh, if we pull the lines from here to here, that's where we have the highest support. We have the highest, we have more resistance here. So, yeah, so we can also, yeah, we can draw it like that. And we see that it broke out here and it wanted to go, but this candle brought the price down again and found this handle after the cup so where will chainlink go next we also just take this from here and let's say we put it here then we can understand how far chainlink will go so chainlink is bound to go to 51 dollars to about 51 dollars and that will be near its all-time high around here around 52 dollars so you can see exactly that this is uh, this is a parabolic move from here. I started talking about Chainlink on this channel when Chainlink was still at $23. But anyway, so that's basically it. Chainlink, I think, will do a very great job and I think Chainlink will outperform many other cryptocurrencies because Chainlink is an oracle to many cryptos including the likes of Cardano, Solana and uh, Ethereum even. So Chainlink is not something to be taken lightly. Yeah, we can see in the forward candles, we can see like an ascending wedge. So from here we see that if Chainlink actually broke down from there, then we take the highest part of this, we take the highest opening and we put it here that will be 27 just as i said before so it has very high support at 27 here so to know the support you have to look at how many times the price has been bouncing off a particular region so we see here bouncing off or closing off so it has been coming up here it bounces off from here comes down goes up bounces off and comes down again tries to break out because the price is constantly trying to go up that is basically it it's not like we're investing in crypto to make it go down no uh, most investors pray that the price should go up so each time they invest or each time you put your money and you're being bullish 
the price goes up so the price is constantly trying to break out of this threshold here and it's not so it tried at first here it did not here again here again here again here again so the more times it hits a particular region that region becomes a great zone of resistance or of support so we can also see here that you can also see here around here that it, it came here it tried to break below it did not came try to break below it did not it tried to break again here until it finally went up so it, it starts to bounce off of there trying to go up so it's always like uh, you can think of it as a bouncing ball and um, yeah that's basically how the price works so the more it does that at one position the more that zone becomes a great uh, zone of resistance or of support yeah and uh, the more it does that to a particular line uh, the more vulnerable it is to break through that line so we can see the same thing happening here we can see the same thing happening here the price broke down and came here it bounced off of this place did not bounce here did not break down went up again to retest this zone of resistance and it did not even reach the zone it came down retested the zone of support went up retested the zone of resistance and then it is coming back down so most probably if the if one of these candles closes outside of this line which it has been bouncing off of uh, in the past here and here if one of these candles closes out of this line and by closing i mean that it will probably be a red candle because red candles close below and green candles close above so each time you see a green candle know that it closed above and each time you see a red candle know that it closed below so if we see a red candle here and if it closes say it closes down here around here let's just say it closes out of this blue line and it closes down here then we can confirm that we have had a breakout now you always have to consider the volume here you always have to consider the volume the volume tells you if that breakout is valid or not valid so if we see that the volume is gradually increasing as the trend goes on then we know that there is very strong pressure for that particular trend if the volume is decreasing then it is not valid enough because it means that only few people are in the market at the time so it's not really valid so if the volume is increasing while the price is going up it means that the trend is very strong and it is okay it's correct but if the price is going up and the volume is decreasing it means that not many people are in the market which means there could easily be a change of price action at any given time it could easily drop drastically that's what you always have to keep in mind so what you have to factor in if you want to invest here is you should just follow this trend you should follow this trend if the candle closes above this line here you see that this green candle here did not close above this green candle here it did not close above so you cannot take this as valid as a valid uh, say indication of you entering the price or entering the market so what you have to do here is just wait if the price uh, bounces off from here uh, and starts to go back up uh, you can see that this was the zone this is the zone of resistance right here okay this is the zone of resistance right here so if the price starts to go up from here if it closes above this blue line here then that could be a good time to start dollar cost averaging into chain link and when it finally closes above here with significant volume you can see this this uh, green candle or this green bar right here this is very strong volume here and we see that the corresponding candle is not so bullish this was supposed to be a bullish candle but the long week up here tells us that there are a lot of sellers inside uh, in the market so they sold down until here and the price closed here but if this candle closed above with this type of volume then you expect that chain link should maintain a very bullish scenario for some time but since it did not this is why we have this other candles red candles followed um, down here
so that's it for the four hourly time chart and if we zoom out into the daily time frame you will also see the same thing going on you will see that that green bar we're talking about this is it and this was what happened yesterday each candle here on the daily time frame represents um, one day of price action so here was yesterday and we see that uh, the price was pushed down until here so basically uh if i was to invest in Chainlink now i would wait Chainlink is a crypto that i've been hodling for one of the longest times i bought Chainlink when it was at four dollars so now it's at 30 31 dollars and so i think Chainlink should reach about a hundred dollars this year but if i was to go into Chainlink now i would wait until i see a close in the four hourly time frame four hourly remember this is the daily four hourly time frame this uh this is on tradingview.com so if you want to see this chart go to tradingview.com go to charts and type chain link or link stroke usdt that's where you can see you can see chain links price action so basically that's it and i hope that you will not forget and i've been talking about this crypto for a very long time so please 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 no financial advice do your own research but try to do some research about this crypto because it has a lot of potential and it is comparatively safer than many other cryptos out there you see so most of the other cryptos that i talk about on my channel like i talked about uh v chain and uh harmony yesterday v chain when i talked about it it was at 15 cents now it's at 16 and v chain has a lot of potential massive potential this year most of these cryptos are going to see a lot of price movement a lot of volatile price movement to the upside this year so you have to be aware and you have to be ready for this price movement uh it is only now it is only now um between now and december or now and january that no january it's a bit okay becoming uh a bit unsafe but between now and the end of december that we're going to have a lot of volatility positive price volatility in the markets and you need to be aware you need to be in the markets well i can't tell you to be in the markets but you need to do your own research and if you can be in the markets then be in the markets okay because it is only now that you get to make your capital so that in the bear market you can start to dollar cost average your way into cryptos okay there is no other asset class that can give you as much uh say profits are cryptocurrency that's just it that's just it uh, this that i'm doing is actually giving people a purpose okay because you may see yourself as the kind of person who wants to be a millionaire a billionaire but you never know how to get there this is it even stocks cannot give you what crypto will give you well crypto can also take away what stocks cannot take away always keep that in mind I see a lot of people saying that if you had only invested a thousand dollars in this crypto in this year it would have been a million or two million or five uh, billion like the guy who invested a thousand five hundred dollars and got about three billion dollars in shiba inu but you also have to know that there are many people who invested a ton of money in cryptocurrencies and also have nothing like people who invested in squid game you would have nothing now I know a guy who invested three thousand dollars and he has zero and it's not like it will one day come back it is gone forever so always factor in your risk management always know what you can afford to lose always know that never you invest more than you can afford to lose all of this looks bullish all of this with chain link looks bullish all of this looks bullish but if you do not factor in your risk management then uh it could be a big problem for you if if you get to to lose okay if you if you lose it will be a big problem if we use the if we use the fibonacci here if we use the fibonacci here then we will see where chain link will have some hurdles along the way as it goes to the moon so you can also see here that this was uh, a very good zone of support the same 27 i was talking about earlier i've talked about this the third time i'm talking about it 
so the same 27 is a zone of support for the 0 0.618 uh, Fibonacci golden ratio so and my golden pocket is just below uh, 0 0.618 golden ratio and that will be $26 changing. So if you could place your buying orders to be like if you want to get, say, a strong buying price, if you want to buy Chainlink at its lowest price possible, that will be about $26 to $27 here. So if Chainlink bounces off from here, which I think it may do, this yeah i think it may do because if you look here you will see that the, the volume is going down this is on the daily time frame now you'll see that the volume is going down and chain link is going up exactly what i was talking about and this is called a bearish divergence when the volume on the volume bar here is going down and the price is going up it means that this trend of the price moving up is not valid so this is a bearish divergence when you see this because they can easily become some people or bulls or bears that enter the market and decide to sell a lot of chain link or decide to buy a lot of chain link. But most of the times when the price is rising like this on a rising wedge and the volume is going down, know that you are you you may likely see a correction, some sort of correction around here. So if we see a correction in Chainlink and you meet, you get to have Chainlink at $27, then that will be a very good price to get your Chainlink. That will be a very good price to get your Chainlink because if it bounces off from here and comes back here, this will mean that Chainlink will finally close above this 0 0.5 golden uh, ratio and we will be headed for the moon directly and we will even see price discovery in Chainlink. So that's it for today, folks. Uh, before I go, um, someone commented on my other video. I always say that you should leave the cryptos that you want me to do um, some research or some technical analysis on. I could do even two or three videos per day, if uh, maybe five minute videos on some cryptos. So always leave your cryptos down in the comments and let me know which cryptos you are most uh, interested in or most invested in. Um, and as I always say, the cryptos that have a lot of risks, like the other, like the other altcoins, like the smaller cap cryptos that I talk about sometimes on the channel, like uh, Stratos is a cryptocurrency that I talk about, say most of the times, and it's a very small cap cryptocurrency, and I believe it will be a very big mover in the future. But when it comes to a cryptocurrency that I mentioned some some time ago, I talked about Saitama, I talked about uh, Arriva. When you see cryptocurrencies like this that have a very small market cap and you do not really hear about them, like you don't know where they launched and you don't really have like a lot of information about them, only put what you would literally have no problem losing in such cryptos. But to invest in something like Chainlink, you know that even if your money goes by say negative 50%, you are sure that it will come back to uh, say the price that you invested, except cryptocurrency as a whole is dying something like chain link something like atom like uh, cosmos is atom something like terra uh, terra luna something like uh, solana something like ethereum cardano polkadot these cryptocurrencies cannot die they just cannot die they may evolve they may go lower in the coin market cap like uh, on coin on the market cap ranking but they will not die so you still have that hope that you you can get your money back but when we're talking about cryptos that have very low market cap that do not have a lot of money invested in them you should be very careful and only invest in those cryptos what you will literally have no problem losing okay you literally have no problem losing if you're following up people on youtube and they're telling you that they invested say ten uh, ten thousand dollars or say a hundred thousand dollars in this crypto it does not necessarily mean that you should also go and invest say ten thousand dollars in these cryptos because uh to that person maybe losing ten thousand dollars may not really mean much but to you it may mean much well i don't know your financial status but that's basically uh, how it is. Most people do not have $10,000. So 
So that's it. Uh, let me sh uh, one of the cryptos that that one of my viewers told me to look at was uh, I believe that was um, Stellar Lumens. It was XLM Stellar Lumens. So uh, Stellar Lumens USDT. We can also see some sort of uh, say a cup and handle but it is somewhat very um, steep, very unusual cup, somewhat like this. But yeah, it's also valid. And yeah, it may do well as well. Let us go into the four hourly to see what is happening inside. So, so looking at XLM here, we can see that it has somewhat of a bullish diversion instead because we see that the price has been dropping here and uh instead and and uh, the volume is also dropping around here so xlm actually is having a bullish divergence which means that uh if this candle closes above this line here if this candle closes in the four hourly time frame above this line here then xlm can actually go up and uh, it also has this cup and handle pattern right here which you can see that puts XLM at uh, 51 cents. Now, XLM is something that uh, I do not have any updates on. Like, I don't know when or what is going to be done to, uh, you know, push the price up this much. But the charts are showing that the price will go up this way. You remember, you have to use technical analysis uh, the same time using fundamental analysis. So, Chainlink has a lot of updates coming up in the, uh, in the near future. And so we can confirm that with technical analysis and say that, okay, the price will definitely go up until maybe this value or it will even go into price discovery. Now, price discovery is just a fancy term for saying that it will surpass its all-time high and find a new all-time high. So basically, that's it for XLM. And um, for now, I think it could be if you would wait here and get a confirmation if you wanted to go into this trade you could wait for a confirmation of this price trend here so if we even take from here where the price uh let's see like from here so here we will have like from here to here and let's just say that we take fibonacci retracements from here We know that this will be the major zone the major zone of resistance for xlm that will be 37 cents so 37 cents will be the major zone of resistance for xlm but it will be uh so 36 36 to 37 is actually the major zone of resistance so if xlm surpasses this zone of resistance and also surpasses uh 39 uh, yeah 39 cents then we should be headed for the all-time high for xlm so if xlm surpasses 39 cents yes 39 cents if xlm surpasses 39 cents then it should go to retest the all-time high the previous all-time high of xlm that's 42 uh 43 cents and if it surpasses that then we should wait for the next target which will be uh 51 cents that is the maximum that you could actually do on xlm as say your prediction for xlm but we don't know if this is valid because there is no i don't have any fundamental analysis of, on this i've not done any proper research to confirm that this price could be the next say the next uh all-time high for xlm or the next price zone for xlm or the next price prediction so that's basically it for xlm but all of these cryptos will go up most of them anyway most of them will go up relative to their value and what they are doing and so as i said in my other video if you want to just be very safe and secure with all of this just go to the crypto categories and pick the best of them so which means if you are going for meme coins, you should pick Dogecoin because Dogecoin is like the original meme coin. If you go to uh, say store of value, then it should be Bitcoin. And if you're going for smart contracts, then it should be Ethereum. 
Now this will be playing it very safe, but and it will also mean that you will not lose a lot, you will not gain a lot, but you will be picking something that uh, will be the best in its category. And actually in this uh, payment method cryptocurrencies, XRP is actually better than XLM. XRP is just having problems now because of its, you know, its problems with the SEC. Whom I don't and I do not have any respect for the SEC. They say that they're doing investor protection or they want to protect investors from losing, but they are making investors not be able to invest what they have in their um, in their wallets. So how is that investor protection? So it's all uh, some sort of uh, I don't know. Is it a cult or something? So anyway, uh, that was it for today's um, episode of our weekly tutorials. What cryptocurrencies do you want me to do next? And uh, what is it about um, technical analysis that you have a problem with? If you have any particular problems, let me know so that in the next technical analysis tutorial or even during the week or sometime later, I can make another tutorial and I stress on what you are most concerned about. So until then, see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.